space hole. I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna mess around with a pedal that I should have been playing with two years ago when I bought it. <laughs> I should have showed it off in a video back then, uh, but I bought it fully intending to make videos with it, and then it just kind of got absorbed into my home rig. It quickly became part of like my living room playing sort of setup. I like to sit around on the couch and play through this Katana Mini. Um, runs off of double A's. A whole stack of them back there. And the zoom is very convenient because it also runs off of double A's. So I don't have to keep nine volts around or run this thing off of an external power supply. It, uh, it eats the same food as the Katana does. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I've got Velcro on the back. I don't know if you saw that. I just stick this thing to the side of the katana. I've got a, a carpet Velcro on the side there, and it becomes my little, uh, you know, couch rig. So anyways, uh, the reason I use this with the katana is because the katana's only got a uh, delay as a built-in effect. It doesn't have anything else other than different uh, drive settings. I think it's a great sounding little battery amp, but it needs a little bit extra for it to be exciting to me. Uh, so that's where this comes in. Obviously, you heard me playing with the spring setting. A surprisingly good surf sound from that. Especially through the Katana Mini, that little bit of splash really makes it exciting for me when I'm playing, you know, while I'm watching TV and hanging out late at night. Might have also caught me turning on the tremolo. And I have a rat over here for a little bit of just crispy nasal drive. So that's that setting. We'll go to some of my other settings and then we'll just explore. We'll, we'll uh, bring up an empty patch and just build stuff and explore uh, all the different sounds that this thing can make. Cause it can make some freaking wild sounds for kind of an older pedal at this point. It's been on the market for a long time. This is my dirty setting. What do I have on this? I start off with a hall reverb that's not on right now. We'll turn that back off. Then I have a uh, BG throttle, I think is a fuzz or some sort of high gain distortion. Then 
the smooth delay. Let's switch to humbucker setting on the, the Nutter Aster Captain that I happen to be playing at the moment. Oh, of course, a dirty gate. That gate kills the delay. I don't know why I put the gate right after the delay. There's something kind of fun about that. Let's go back and turn that reverb on. I don't know what I was thinking when I put that in there, but it's gotta be kind of fun. <laughs> What's another one I have in here? Oh, those are all the presets that the previous owner loaded in there. Dimpty, I don't know what I did here. Ooh. This is a weird one I put together. The octave isn't even on. Octave is the beginning of the chain. Then we have a bend co. Reverse delay because of course. Ottawa <laughs> it's going ridiculous on this patch. Particle reverb. That's what we're hearing. And then that's the end of the chain. Let's turn off the particle verb. Let's turn off the reverse delay. off with an empty patch now. I don't know why I said it's, 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 it's empty. There's something in here. No. I must have saved something to that one. Let's go down. Filter delay? What is this? <laughs> Another one of my experiments. There we go, a truly empty patch to start with. Sounds like I need a tune. Good thing this has a built-in tuner, right? I haven't played this guitar in a while, so uh, it might need to warm up a little bit. I'll try not to be irresponsible with the wiggle stick here. All right, so let's assign something. Mm, this isn't the way I wanna do this. All right, we'll go to this menu. What should we start with? Let's start with an overdrive. Two 
Tube Screamer? Nah, that's too boring. A clon! Why not, right? it's not much of a gain. Just something to give it a little bit of character. Now we'll add something. Um... Let's show off some amp sounds real quick, just because they're not good. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's because I'm running into actual amps and cabs right now. Maybe it would sound better through headphones. never been terribly impressed with the amp sounds in this. And there's only three of them. I don't know how I ended up with the dynamic drive on there. How do I trash that? Yes. There's all these submenus. All right. Modulations now. Slicer. Chorus, because of course. Detune. Now this is stereo chorus. I've never plugged it in stereo before. I'm doing that right now into two different amplifiers. Lush to me. Super vintage flange.
not polyphonic at all. But pretty fun. harmony. This is the bend echo. It's not an echo, it's a binco. Bend cho. I want to know if this is something they invented over there at Zoom or if this is based on something. But man, it's fun. down mode. I don't know what Mojo Roller is. That's fun. It's kind of like a dynamic vibrato tremolo sort of effect it blends in as your note rings out. That's pretty cool. Ring mod. It's like I'm making a phone call. So the very first multi-effect unit I ever had was the Zoom 2100. And because of this, like the ring modulator in this is what I associate as a ring modulator sound. And everything I've ever played that doesn't match that, I'm like, ah, this isn't what I want from a ring modulator. This has that ring mod sound. <laughs> There's something so wonderfully awful about it. Clone chorus. There's so much. Stone phaser. Another flange. Silky chorus. Mirage chorus. Anna, what is this? Another chorus. An analog chorus. Corona Tri. I don't know. Bit Crush. I have no idea what a bomber is supposed to be, but man, it sounds wild. It sounds like hitting a gong. Okay, it has different patterns. We were on Thunder. It has bong. I think it's strictly like a sound effect patch. Arm? What does arm mean? Handgun. It's just like triggered sounds. It doesn't matter where I play it. How weird. Mm. 
mono synth. Put on your stereo headphones, we've got auto pan. stuff in this little pedal guys I need a tune again I think the modulations and the delays and the reverbs are really where the zoom multi stomp thrive it's clearly a digital sounding effect but it brings a lot to the table just in inventive options. And the fact that you can stack so many effects onto one preset is pretty incredible. Tape echo. I've seen people complain that it's not true bypass and it kind of ruins the rest of your signal. I don't know. I don't use it in that sort of way. I run it into a mini amp <laughs> for the most part. If I was going to use it in a full pedal board, things like that might bug me. Something that you guys should look into, I guess. Mod delay. Analog delay. There's that reverse. Multi-tap. I'm out of tune already. Filter delay, pitch delay. A rainbow machine there. down to a negative fifth. Negative octave. A lot of pages on here. Stereo delay. This is a weird one. Trigger hold delay. It holds the note that you were playing until you play another note.
So many specialized delays. You really spend all day just scrolling through different patches on here before you even combine things and make your own setting. That's a fun one. Auto pan delay, what does that mean? What does it automatically do? fun. So many weird ones. All right, we're into reverbs now. like an amp style spring versus the uh, Fender style spring I was using at the very beginning. It's still pretty dang decent sounding. price of one of these, I think you can get them like a hundred bucks used all the time. Compared to so many of the affordable board reverbs that I've shot out that are still like 20, 30 bucks. I mean, this, this thing smokes them for what it can bring to the table. Like this is the king of the affordable board. <laughs> if you really think about it, yes, yeah, a hundred bucks, but man, you could, you could simulate a pedal board with this thing and have a lot of really great sounds, like really great sounds. Not so much in the drive department, but in modulations, delays, reverbs. Here we go. A surprisingly good drip, a surprisingly good surf sound from this. Sometimes it does this comical little like digital approximation of a drip. Now I can't even get it to do it. It's not bad though. For what these costs and considering what else is available on the market as far as digital pedals that emulate a surf drip, I think it's pretty good. Chamber. The 
to skip one. Lo-fi. Church. Cave. Ambiance. Gate reverb. It's a fun one. Rever reverse reverb. Spooky. This is one of my favorite sorts of things, is an effect where a tremolo is applied to the trail, whether it be a delay or reverb. There was a delay that had tremolo on it. It gives you that motion without being on top of your dry playing. This is a especially wet version of that though. Flurb! <laughs> From the flurb of the Holy Grail reverb by Electro Harmonics. Dynamic reverb. Shimmer. Particle. Why is that so fun? Space hole. Mangled space? Oh, that's the end of the line. We're back to compressors and stuff like that. Um, Oh, there's a slow attack. Noise gate, sturdy gate, comps, line selectors, graphic EQs, exciters, filters, Ottawa's. <laughs> Kind of surprised these weren't grouped in in the uh, the modulations. <laughs> nice vocal, like fake, uh, like talk box sort of sound. <laughs>
weird sounds is where this thing lives. Back to an EQ, a booster, overdrive. All right, we're back into the drives. We've gone through them all. I think this little guy's impressive. I really do. Uh, think of it like a Whitman sampler. It's a cheap box of chocolates. It's a hundred bucks, but it's packed full of just options and weird stuff you're probably never gonna find in another pedal ever again. And if you do, you're probably like, oh, that's a, that's a lot of money for just that one weird thing I want to do. This has that one weird thing you want to do locked up in it. And you can get them dirt cheap. Like I said earlier, I think it might be, uh, this might be uh, the king of the affordaboards. <laughs> it's its own affordaboard because you can really stack just all kinds of effects in here. So we'll add another one. How many can we do before it breaks? Max effects. I just stacked a ton of freaking effects in here. I think for a hundred bucks, I keep saying this, for a hundred bucks, this is the king of the affordable boards. I mean, you can build a five pedal pedal board in this thing for a hundred bucks. Tons and tons of weird, weird effects. I think the previous owner did all the updates on this. It has a USB plug on the back uh, for updates. I don't know if you have to pay for those or not, but this thing has got some wild sounds as well as some just core, decent sounding, like utility and essentials that I need to make the sounds that I want. skunky. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments, support us on Patreon, uh, and stay grounded. Bye everybody.